This is Dr. Wally here with Elite Vision Performance, and today's topic is eye dominance. And the question I'll ask you is, do you know which eye is your dominant eye? Is it your right eye or is it your left eye? And you would be surprised about how many people I ask that question to, and they really don't know. Uh, it's really important, especially in sports like baseball, where you need to really make good square contact with the ball, or even golf where you need to read the putts more consistently. If you don't know what eye is your dominant eye, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage. So one statistic that stands out about eye dominance is that your brain actually processes your dominant eye 14 to 21 milliseconds faster than your non-dominant eye. And so in baseball and golf, it's actually very important to be cross-dominant. So cross-dominant means that you bat right-handed, but you're left eye dominant. And if you think about how you process the information from your dominant eye faster, if you're batting right-handed, your left eye is gonna be leading, so you're gonna see the ball a little bit faster. But that's only about 20% of people that are actually cross-dominant. So if you're cross-dominant, if you're not cross-dominant, excuse me, there's the things that we can do to fix it but it's something that we want to know in the first place. Are you right eye dominant or are you left eye dominant? So an easy test to determine this is this. So let me show you. You can get a little bottle like this and put it across the room. And what you're going to do is put that bottle in the center of your vision and you're going to make a triangle with your fingers. And you're going to put that bottle right in the center of, your tri of the triangle you're gonna close your left eye and close your right eye. Whichever eye is your dominant eye, the bottle will stay in the center of the triangle. If you're using your non-dominant eye, you'll notice that it's shifted over a little bit and you'll actually have to adjust your fingers to move it over there. So that's how you can tell which one is your dominant eye. And some people are a lot more dominant in one eye versus the other and some people are just a little bit different there. But anyways, this is an easy test that you can do. It's very important to know so that you can take advantage of it in whatever sport you're playing. So like I mentioned before, if you're a baseball player or a golfer and you're not cross dominant, it is a little bit of a disadvantage, but there's things we can do to fix that. So if you're interested in learning more about that, or if you just want to learn more about how to test your eye dominance, if this doesn't seem to be working for you, Send me a direct message and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.